Vice President Yemi Oshibanjo, Naingo lead Federal Executive Council meeting today. House of Reps now don't call for screening against Ebola virus for Nigerian borders. And the trial of Mena, former chairman of pension reform tax team, no hold again. Golden Eaglets don't come out for the FIFA Under-17 World Cup after Netherlands win them. Good afternoon and welcome to Azubia Max TV. This is now as it take happen. My name is Adati Owunkwe. On top of the first story where we carry come, the Federal Executive Council meeting supposed to hold today with Vice President Yemi Oshimbajo as the leader for Inside DA. And as it be so, this one as it could say President Buhari go London. Make we join our state house to repress will be Philip Mweli for the details of the meeting where they hold for the ASO Chamber of Presidential Villa for Inside Abuja. Okay, as the matter be so, I will go join Philip later to find out whether the Federal Executive Council meeting they hold and the updates from the meeting. Now this one now Goshapali Karios Komot enter the next story where we get for today. Senate now don't confirm Justice John Soho and Justice Benedict Kanib as Chief Judge of the Federal High Court and President of the National Industrial Court. Then confirm the two of them after the chairmo of a Senate committee on top judiciary will be Okpemi Bamidele being presenting report for their meeting on Tuesday. In context, say the confirmation now satisfy what the Nigerian constitution want. As he can't add, say they qualify where we are and say they get the experience to do the work where B say they won't do. Recommendation, Mr. President, is that the Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters, having screened the nominee and being satisfied about his exposure, experience, performance, qualifications and competence, hereby recommend that the Senate do confirm the nomination of Honorable Justice J.T. Soho for appointment as the Honorable Chief Judge of the Federal High Court. The Senate Committee on Judiciary, Human Rights and Legal Matters, having screened the nominee and being satisfied about his exposure, experience, performance, qualifications and competence hereby recommend that the Senate do confirm the nomination of Honorable Justice Benedict Bakwa Kanye for appointment as the Honorable President of the National Industrial Court of Nigeria. Even as in the year for the Senate President Ahmed Lawan Kontok say in get hope say the appointment now will help to improve the judicial system. Confirm the nomination of Honorable Justice John Temba Soho for appointment as the Honorable Chief Judge of the Federal High Court. Those in favor say aye. Those against say nay. The ayes have it. The confirmation of uh, Honorable Justice John Temba Soho is hereby approved. The nomination of Honorable Justice Benedict Bakwap Kanyib for appointment as the Honorable President of the National Desk Court is hereby confirmed. Another one called Shapali Carriers Commons enter another Tory. As if this Ebola don't show face for DR Congo, the House of Representatives now don't call on Ubunge government to take better action so that Ebola no go enter Nigeria at all. Then take this decision inside the House after Honorable Pascal Obibi move one motion on top of thing the, the country need to do to prevent another Ebola problem for inside the country. The lawmakers now still talk to say make them immortalize Dr. Stella at Dadevo, where B say she been helped to stop one Liberian man will be Patrick Sayer so that he no go enter inside Nigeria to spread the Ebola virus for inside 2014. As they were renounced, say DR Congo no far from Nigeria, the House called the Ginger Ministry of Health to start Ebola screening for inside the country and for our borders. Them. The Koreans say if they no start anything, it go hard to stop Ebola when it enter the country. The House seek on Ginger government now to bring out money where they go use to manage this virus if at all it enter the country. 
I was over Max TV to read person, MNA Erama, Erama. He gets more for inside this story, and then we go still join her to give us gist about waiting they happen for inside House of Reb. It be like say as it be so, we go connect with her later so that she go tell us all the story where they happen for dear. We sharply come out from inside the story, enter the next one we will get. Sake of one warning from the Nigeria Hydrological Services Agency. On top of flooding matter where we say they happen now, especially as rain don't they go. Nigerians where we say they live for rocky area where they cause earthquake and other related disasters. Don't they lament? They blame Obonge government now, say they no care for them. Sake of the danger where we say that they face. People where we say they live for Mpape, one rocky community inside the FCT, been experienced with you know, Igbo people they call earth tremor, where we say all the ground they shake. These people now don't they cry, when they talk, say government just can't, can't tell them sorry after everything, the, after the tremor been happened for their community. But they never see any action now from government. As the matter be, John Emmanuel will be our to person. He been visiting Pape to find out how the people they take the government warning on top of all these natural disasters. In report, this in report now they come as the world they mark a tsunami world awareness day. In a world tsunami awareness day, and this tsunami they happen when earthquake, landslide, and other earth movement where they happen normally for land take place inside water we we they call ocean. This one go come cause very big flood where they destroy people and properties. Now, since this tsunami, they happen for time where people don't expect. Now, this one come make Nigerian Hydrological Services Agency come the one people. So make them be careful with the way where they, they relate with their environment. So that anytime where any natural disaster where go resemble this tsunami go take place, you know, go affect them badly. Since this tsunami, now things like earthquake and earth tremor, they cause them. Now, people where they stay for areas where rock day, come they ask questions, say, now, where to make government know they take issues relating to this kind of message of tsunami to their side? According to them, they don't experience earthquake and other natural disasters which relates to what in this government they try to talk about flooding and tsunami. But government know they take issues concerning what in they happen for their own environment serious. For example, recently, Pape people experienced earth tremor. That one we say ground shake, come open mouth, they wait, make it start to the consume people. After the Belek Belewe government tell them, government never see go back, go do anything to make sure say next time if the thing happen, it will affect them. This rock as a blast of it has been a long time ago. Crush rock, Cetraco, uh, beggar, and all of that. Maybe one day now, you see that the whole puppy will just collapse, as in drone and hope and hope will just just gone like that. So I think that if our government has provide accessible place that people will locate for this place to a better place, to an easy life of people. This puppy is a very big, uh, large uh, uh, place. Okay, if everybody move, where are we going? But it's the government duty to support people to locate them somewhere that is it's okay because this place is around with the pattern of the song it's everywhere all the many of companies here this why they, they settle and they're doing their business and they don't even care about the people's life for this area People they build house on top and under rock upon say them experienced air tremor recently. It did very important make government follow give orientation to these people on how to build house for this area so that future so that future disaster no go happen to them. This now John Emmanuel for Wazubia Max TV. On top of flooding matter, Nigeria now do accuse Cameroon sick of the heavy flood where we say it been affect Adamawa, Taraba, Benue State, plus including the level of water where we say rise for inside the Lokoja, the Kogi State capital. As a young gift to people for inside Abuja on Monday, Director General of Nigeria Hydrological Survey Services will be Engineer Clement Inze. He come out to the young say Cameroon authorities now no give Nigeria any sign or any notice at all at all. Before before them release water from Lagdo Dam. Engineers, they can't talk, say this one day against the understanding between the two countries, them. And say that one is no good at all at all as they no give them sign. The agreement where we sign with Cameroon, with regard to river or Lagdo Dam, their own dam, where they catch water for them, that we do it as we agree for paper. That if they go release water, maybe they tell Nigerians. And when they tell Nigerians, and we, our agency, we begin to holler everywhere. They tell community, tell states that water they come, make them hear where we, make them 
carry their people where well, there those river near the river carry them up up so that nothing will happen to them even if they should lose any property they don't go lose their lives and as we they talk to people too bury them too they help themselves so i'm going to say now here they bury my papa they bury my mama now here they bore me i don't come out from here when they tell them i beg make them come out from there because if water come carry them their children go, no go even know where they bury them too water go carry them and go and throw away so Maybe they listen to the thing where would they tell them for radio, for for newspaper, for television about flood where they come for Nigeria, and they will bear. They will be alive. Nothing, they, nothing will destroy them. And see for inside the matter, the Director General of Nigeria Hydrological Survey Services. You come once say as the water they flow through River Benue down to River Niger and more communities where they for inside Kogi State. Say as it be so, say people where they live for east and the south go experience heavy flood even as the rain they reduce. You can see they call on Obonge government now and people of Kogi, Edo, Delta, Rivers, Bayelsa and Anambara State. Say make them sharp, sharp, do things to carry everything where we say they get, go higher ground as the water they find in way to take enter Atlantic. To go, uh, water come market to go buy something. You know. Dam la money. To build that dam for River Benue, Buffer Dam, dam where go hold water, where they come from Cameroon. It will be one day thing to go do them. Nigeria, like any other part of the world, they face on challenges of money to do so many things. So I think Nahim Kosa, that, that's the thing where it become, that today, since 2012, Nigeria never be able to build that buffer dam where you go to catch water, where they come from Cameroon. I think it's the issue of uh, money, Nahim Kosa. If money there, I'm sure government to go build that dam. They wouldn't like to lose life or lose uh, property every year. As it be so, we go sharply go back to State House, make we connect with our Tory person for day to give us gist about what they happen for the Federal Executive Council meeting. Um, good afternoon, Ada. Good if afternoon. Um, good afternoon, Ada. Good afternoon. If you hear me. Um, if you... Okay, make if you sharply... Say... Yeah. You will sharply tell us uh, whether the meeting don't start yeah, they listen to you. waiting they happen for the meeting. Well, if you look behind me now, you will see say, journalists there outside the venue when the meeting they hold. And uh, our Vice President, Professor Yemi Oshibajo, and they preside over today's meeting. Um, you know, usually they know they tell us what they want to discuss. Now, after the talk finish, they will come tell us the agreement and the approvals when they do today. Okay. So um, the meeting, as we hear, day on now, but we don't know when it will end. Sometimes if they start from now, end around 5.30, if it end around 2.30, but with the wait. But, you know, most things when this government they do now, things about um, infrastructure, project, uh, award of project, and then the budget, now the main thing when they consider now. Although that one still there for National Assembly process, when then they interview all the ministries, departments, and agencies. So um, we go wait until they finish. If they finish early, we will know the outcome of the meeting. If they not finish early, then maybe around 5.30 or 6 or 7 or 8, then go tell us. For them, make we know. I'm back now. We wait for them. Make we know when they go. Okay, thank you very much for that one. That's now what we're passing from inside the state house, and in name now Philip Whaley. We shall probably enter another story where we still carry on today. As it be so, we hear say the case of before before Chiamu of former pension reform tax team will be Abdul Rashid Mena. We supposed to happen for inside Federal High Court for Abuja. The story where we come to hear now be say the team no can hold again. And this one na sake of say you know well. As they start the hearing on Tuesday, one officer of a Nigerian Correctional Service, Dr. Idou Ajayi, may present one letter to uh, the judge, will be Justice Okon Abang. We get to do with how in body day, and as it be so, the people where to carry the matter come, Okon, they talk, so they don't know anything about the letter at all. After the plenty, plenty argument on top, depending application, the judge will come shift the matter, go November 7th. Inside the next story, we're not too sweet for ear at all. As it be so, we hear say Professor Wole Shoinka, don't tell Obunge government now, say make them take better, strong action against Boko Haram 
armed headsmen and Islamic states in West African province. As a be so, Professor Shoinka bin yan this one for the meeting with Benue State Governor will be Samuel Otom on Tuesday for the government's house with the McCordin. Professor Shoinka bin visits the displaced persons and that's one that people where be say this plenty bege carry them come out from where they live and go inside camp for inside a bagana area of the state. In Konya say the security situation of Nigeria needs sharp, sharp attention of government, especially for the federal level. In constant vex put for the headsmen attacks where be say he don't kill plenty of people, plus including to pursue many, many people come out from where did they live. And we go sharply run, come up from inside this story. Enter the next one way we get. This one now to be on top of what they happen for House of Representatives. Make we sharply talk to our to person, we be MNA for inside there. MNA, you go sharply tell us uh, what they happen for um, House of Representatives for there. Okay, today the normal sitting day where they call plenary for today will be Wednesday for House of Representatives. So when members come, they will not enter chambers by now. Me, I've been there chambers when they never start plenary. I just walk out, come out, make a call on the Nigeria and waiting they have for inside. And they get to ten, they call other paper for a uh, House of Representatives. So for the other paper today, the matter where they line up, say they go talk today. The major matter where they want to talk today, that the need to stop post UME, that they call a motion. They don't bring and come for house. Say they need to stop to do post UME examination for Nigeria University before, if you write jam, before they go enter university, university go do your own exam again. House won't debate on today for their plenary. Say it no need to do post UME exam again for before person go enter university. So if you do jam, you go just jam, give you admission. Now so you go take go university. Now what they plan to talk? Now the major thing where they plan to talk today for plenary be that. But apart from that, you still get other things where they get to other paper. Um, another person bring motion, honorable, or then me doku, bring another motion saying again need very important to check discriminatory practices by petroleum products pricing regulatory agency against independent petroleum marketers who will be Ipman. Say they need to check them. They will still debate that motion for plenary today. Another person may be called Ole Lawa, still put another motion for this other paper again today, say they need to rehabilitate and expand Idi Roko over the Yewa Water Road, where for Yewa South Ipokia Federal Constituency for Ogun State. Now, Kola Ole Lawa bring this one. Apart from these motions, where the other paper, maybe matter serious, where well, well. now the ones to the right be that somebody fisty come for house so for ground of plenary, say, ah. This invade my community last night, so the people where they represent, they also make a come talk and for here. Yeah, they're still fit talk and you know, good day here, yeah, but we will still report them as if they hot, come give now. Thank you very much, Ada. Thank you, Emine, for that one, as if they hot. Make you try to give us the remaining details on top of everything where we said and go yarn today. We shall probably come out and enter the next story where we carry come. As it be so, we hear see fire born one chinchin factory and the buildings for inside the Balogun and Dosumu market of a bariga for inside the Lagos Island area of Lagos State on Tuesday. Reports talk in an electric where BC is parked now in cause the fire for inside the factory. Why the cause of the fire now for the two markets now we we bomb plenty goods we reach like millions of naira. Now him we never really know for now. For the factory, the fire been started for inside the production section around 7.30 in the morning. An emergency responders, plus including state fire service of the state, come quench the fire. And as it be so for inside the Balogu market, emergency responders too been struggle to quench the fire as at 10.30 p.m. that one for night. And we hear say as the matter be one section of the building where be say born, come later fall, come collapse, come wound one policeman for there. Inside the fire, we hear say shop owners been being run out from inside their building. Come, they help to quench the fire and to bring out the goods where this piece said they bring out as the fire had been deborn. The general manager for Lagos State Emergency Management Agency, Olua Femi Oke, he come out to come here and say many of the agencies them and the officials of other agencies been come try to quench the fire and say they don't finally quench the fire.
My people make on a still sit down where on a day with the comeback with business story and sport. No go anywhere. <music> And for inside business, we hear a Rice Farmers Association for, of Nigeria for inside the Kanu branch. They don't come out now, come talk, say the border where they say they close, they don't have to boost their local rice production for inside the state. The state chairman will be Abubakar Haruna Aliyu. Now, in the this one on Tuesday, I think they talk to our Tory person for the secretariat of the association for inside Kanu. According by him, then they sell bag of rice gift processors between 9,000 to 9,500 against the initial price of 8,500. And say the price will be say increased. Now, sick of say plenty of people now want the rice. In concert talk, say after them process the 50 kg of local rice, then go sell them for 15,000 naira, depending on the quality of the rice. And you can't yarn about the complaint of some people, sake of the plenty of stones where be say the day for inside local rice. In con, the chairman can't explain talk, say no be their fault at all at all, and no be the farmer's fault. But now the people where be say they package the rice for them. After them process them, Nain get the fault. Okay. Uh, with stones, particles in it, actually he didn't do a very good job because we are way ahead of that. A uh, couple of years ago, oh, uh, there are some intervention from NGOs that they come in and they train our people how to process their beer rice without stones and uh, and uh, particles in it. And uh, if you look at it now, uh, our rice, real meal rice, is comparable to any other rice in the world because if we bring the processed rice here, you cannot differentiate whether it is a foreign rice or the local rice. This actually has increased uh, due to the border closure. But uh, initially, the price is, it varies, you know. Uh, but for now, it has increased. And uh, now you can get that bag of rice for 50 kg for about 15 southern naira here in Kado. And depending on the quality of the rice and what variety, uh, and the variety too. So it has to do with the it has to do with the prices and it has to do with the quality of the rice. Okay, now that's not our business report. Maybe Shapali come back for sport. For inside sports, this one at all, we'll be saying no to sweet. Plenty Nigerians belly at all. The golden neglect now, now we hear say they don't come out for the 2019 FIFA Under 17 World Cup for Brazil after Netherlands win them 3 1 for their round of 16 game for inside Estadio Olympiaco for inside Goenia early this morning. Sonje Hansen now he been scored hat trick for Netherlands, while Olakule Olushegu now he scored the only goal where BC Nigeria get for inside the game. Now all the Tory them be this, but before we go, maybe we still look all our top Tory game again for this afternoon. To enjoy more of this, our Ogun get videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.